Here you see the left hook that, that hurt Vasquez, and as you can see, it was very difficult Great. for Vasquez to even see uh, where the punch was coming from. And yeah. it wasn't really even a clean blow. It, was yeah, it came over his glove. Yeah, that's uh, right. Landed, landed on top of the side of his head. That's just a demonstration of the tremendous power that he has. How can you generate that much power off that particular... Okay, guys, you see that pretty fine throw shot. Receiviste las instrucciones. Protect yourself at all time. Protegete todo el tiempo. Give me a clean fight and a pelea limpia. Okay, and remember, no one is more important than our tonight. Let's do it. Is Denier capable of punching through one division after another, as many Pacquiao once did? Well, at the We need evidence. Yes, we, it depends on who's in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have that ability, though, Larry. Well, we will find out. Back to the corner, Alekina. Until he does it, You're he ready? hasn't Let's done do it. it. <laughs> Round one begins. And you heard what Donaire said about wanting vengeance for what he saw as disrespect at the news conference. I don't care about the belt. I don't care about the money. I just want to knock him out. Well, Everyone has talked about the height of Donaire and his ability to move up and wait because of it, but uh, maybe it's his stance, Emmanuel, but he doesn't show that he's any bigger than... In terms of foot movement and stance, Donaire is in a boxing mode, but he's throwing punches like Sonny Liston. Uh, this is a hard punching mentality. You know, it's funny you mentioned it just when I was looking at the foot. Uh, Vasquez is a little bit flat foot, come, because, you know, with his, with his feet is a little bit more flat as compared to Donar, who's operating more from the balls of his feet. And that gives him a little advantage in moving in and out better than Vasquez. But he's making Vasquez miss, and he's blocking whatever comes his way. Hooked by Donaire. His best punch, or at least <laughs> so it appeared against Mondial. This looks like the 13th round of the last fight. He can get hit me. Here's the power. Vasquez was a second year pre law student in Puerto Rico. When some family situations, including the murder of his father's grandchild, uh, forced him to make another decision. And for the first time around in his late teens, he got into the ring and his father made him work out for a year and a half before he allowed him to have a fight. How many box numbers in the first round? Donaire was 11 of 44, and Vasquez was 7 of 29. Donaire landing, it appeared, the harder shots in the first round as well. well Vasquez didn't throw too many punches in the first round. He's fighting a very conservative laid-back fight. Uh, I think he's intending to try to step it up as the fight goes on. But also, he's having a problem with the fast counter punches, particularly of Donaire, whenever he does punch. And you saw Vasquez mugging at Donair after Donair hit him with a left hand shot to the body. And Donair's response to that was to step up and hit him with the two punch combination. Yeah, well, uh, trying to beat force with farce doesn't work very often. Vasquez starting to unfurl his jab. But so far, throwing one punch at a time. Obviously trying not to open himself up to Donaire's combinations. Exactly, Jeff. There's actually a little mark under the right eye of Donaire. Like a mouse. Another hard left-hand body shot. 
I haven't heard much about Donaire. Power, power shots more. Donaire on the belt line with the body shot. You saw between rounds that he's trained by one of the rising prominent trainers in the sport, Robert Garcia out of Oxnard, California. Garcia wasn't going to become one of the most illustrious trainers in the sport with fading talents like Antonio Margarito, but with somebody like Donaire, he can make the kind of splash that, for instance, Freddie Roach has made with Manny Pacquiao. And I think he has a Donaire Bautiz also. No, 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 yes, no, no. yes, Ortiz also, also has Victor Ortiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah Victor Ortiz. He's got some Let's good go. young talent. Let's go. Oh, no, wait, wait a minute. Excuse. He does not have Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz is trained by his brother Danny Garcia. He has, it was a family <laughs> feud. Brandon, there. He has Brandon Rios. All right. Yeah, that's right. Brandon, he has Brandon Rios. Right, right, right. I know he had another young And talent. in fact, Donaire has sparred from time to time with Brandon Rios. <laughs> There's Rachel Donaire, wife of Nonito. And when we talk about the altercation between the two at the news conference it's numbers in the second round on air 20 of 58 including 14 connected power shots Vasquez 9 out of 32 so in the first two rounds Vasquez has not really made the effort to be on the same page with Donaire in terms of punches thrown and landed he's waiting Donaire started jab, but he's not really driving hard jabs. He's trying to get Vasquez to start jabbing back at him. And soon as Vasquez starts getting to his jabbing game with him, then he tries to sneak a fast right hand over top. Earlier in the round, Emmanuel, we saw Donaire lead with a left hook. It'll be interesting to see if he does that again. If you're going to lead with a left hook, you have to have the footwork to get in position to do that. Lloyd Jones could do it. Floyd Mayweather can do it. And now we know that Donaire can do Donaire it, too. Can do giving it. Vasquez a different look, dropping his hands. And left. he rips Vasquez with a left hook lead. And there was a perfect example. Can he finish him now? He's trying to land that uppercut through the center. Yes, it's going to take an uppercut if Vasquez is going to guard that way. Vasquez gets out of the corner and kind of grins as if that's a victory. Well, that sudden imitation of Sergio Martinez uh, ended with a clean left hook. That led to that barrage in the corner. It's, it's amazing that he did so much damage to Vasquez with a punch that I don't think was even that clean. It just shows how much power that he has for a small fighter. Well, he's fighting small powers of fighters, Emmanuel. Why is that so exceptional for it's a little guy no. if he's fighting another little guy? But say you don't see small fighters punching with that type of power. They're just no. very unusual. I mean, his knockouts are devastating. In fact, one of the most devastating punches I would say in boxing. And, and it's, normally that should be with the heavyweights or middleweights and something. Well, we always talk about how you, you get hurt most by the punches you don't see coming. I think Vasquez was looking for a jab. And when Donaire ripped him with the lead left hook, he wasn't ready. Another great body shot. Here you see the left hook that, that hurt Vasquez, and as you can see, it was very difficult Please. for Vasquez to even see uh, where the punch was coming from. And yeah. it wasn't really even a clean blow. It's yeah, it came blow. over his glove. Yeah, that's uh, right. landed, landed on top on the side of his head. That's just a demonstration of the tremendous power that he has. How can you generate that much power off that particular stance? Because he springs from his leg, uses his full balance in, 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 with it from his legs. Same way that Nassim Ahmed used to punch. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit like Prince Nassim. Donaire, 14 out of 40 in that round. And the way he's lowering his hands here insolently, as though inviting Alvarez to try something. Vasquez. Vasquez, sorry. Uh, these uppercuts are short, tight, and hard. Yes, it's very, you know, the more that Vasquez starts opening up and punching back, the more he's going to get caught. Even when he lands a punch, he doesn't land with the authority or the speed that Donner lands his punches with. Donner holding the right glove open as though to parry Vasquez's punch. That's exactly punches. what he's doing, yes. He's trying to parry and then counter punch with the same hand that he parries with sometimes. And it takes great coordination to be able to do that. Showing off his head movement. 
idea of just breaking down Vasquez and was looking to land one punch that would lead to a dramatic close. Double jab, right cross combination from Donaire, so fast. Vasquez, pretty good fighter, keeps sticking that jab in there. Getting a little bit more resolute in this round after having been out of the first three, but it's another left hook from Donaire. No need to... He's living so we can choose him for our boxing team. 59 out of 179 in the first four rounds. 29 out of 119 for Vasquez in Power Connects so far. And we spoke to you before the fight about Donaire's move to more power punching. He's landed 43. But uh, talking about his uh, style, but the difference is even Martinez, good as he doesn't score that kind of knockout uh, the way to this man. The outside of the Paul Williams fight, he's not that devastating a puncher. This guy is tremendous as a puncher and a showman ship type fighter hard right hand by Vasquez his best punch of the fight so far right hand onto the cheekbone of Nodito Donaire and Vasquez lands his jab again he's loosening up just yeah. a little bit yeah he's wanting Vasquez to come in you notice he's doing he's enjoying that he wants him to come in and give him more opportunities to the counter punch when he parries with that right hand like that Reminds, I like that. It reminds me of the old-time fighters where they use a shoulder and the right hand to parry and roll punches. Floyd Mayweather Sr. still teaches it. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. See there, he's rolling, he's rolling shots with his left shoulder. And he's it rolling the right hands and picking off the left hand punches. No, 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 no. I got it. Meanwhile, Vasquez is having his best stretch here. Yes, he is, Larry. Yeah. We mentioned that he's getting a little bit looser and more... Fluid on offense, more willing to throw. CompuBox running total at the bottom of the screen shows you that the difference is not nearly as large in terms of landed punches in this round as has been the case in the four previous rounds. Last we looked, it was 14-11. fairly easily 122 pounds when we get to the main event one of the two fighters in that bout struggled mightily to make weight and it could affect tonight's tilt we'll talk more about that when we get ready for Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. against Marco Antonio Rubio right now we're in round six Nonito Donaire in the burgundy colored silk trunks gleaming in the light here the fifth I, I, find, I, I think Vasquez is winning this round also, but I feel that Donair is kind of like pulling him into throwing more punches so he can catch him going down the stretch. That's just my feeling. So Vasquez landed 11 more punches and threw 26 more punches in that round. That's a dramatic reversal from the numbers of our previous five rounds. And Harold, how do you have it through six? Well, you might get it a little bit closer. Uh, four rounds to two, 58-55, no needle down there. Jim, I think Wilfredo Vasquez, one rounds, five and six, using that left jab. He's, he's moving forward, he's walking. I don't recall Donaire having even this small stretch of rounds where an opponent has stood with him, boxed with him, fought with him. Uh, he hasn't begun this much to think about in a while. And actually has won the last couple of rounds, in my opinion. Hard left hook by Donaire, momentarily wobbled Vasquez. 
Combi box numbers in round seven. Donair began to reassert himself with power shots. He was 22 out of 55 in the round. Vasquez 19 out of 64, but Donair doubled Vasquez in connected power shots, and you saw the big left hook toward the end of the round that momentarily wobbled the Puerto Rican fighters. Well, this is what Donair wanted him to do, so to punch more. And get of a 12-round fight, while moving up in weight, he would be hardly the first ever to do that. That's happened plenty of times. Hard right hand and a really good body shot. Vasquez shaking his head as if to say, you can't hurt me. Excellent uppercut. Vasquez lands a jab. Body shot by Vasquez, couple of them. Donaire comes back with a right over the top. The danger of throwing the body shots, you get counted upstairs. You know, and, and Donaire is very, and he, you throw a right hand at him, and he'll like partially block it with his left hand, and then throw a left hook at the same time with the hand that he blocks. That's the same punch that he knocked out, uh, I think, uh, Montiel? Montiel with him. And that's what makes it so dangerous when you throw a right hand at him sometimes. Montiel launched a right, which was, in effect, a cue. Well, you're the one, Larry, who said farce seldom beats force. What do you think of Donaire mugging at Vasquez like that? What did a roll out or roll of out of 31? Vasquez 15 out of 61. Donaire doubled Vasquez in power connect, 16 to 8. So he was far more accurate and more powerful in that round. Now we go to the ninth. get the win but with Fredo Vasquez Jr. will get some respect for having turned the fight around to a certain extent yes, got back is. on the same page I was just thinking, the same, thinking the same thing Jim and he's very good defensive when he has had to take a punch he's taking a punch he's coming on he's working behind the jab the best he can without committing to the point where he leaves himself open right there. hard right hand by Donaire every, every time he jabs he's got to always be watching out for a right hand to come over top Let's go. Very little body punching in in this game. It, it, if Denaire wants to be a knockout puncher, he's got to invest some time in body punching. He did it early in the fight when he was throwing rights and lefts to the body. More recently, not as much. Uh, even then, when he was throwing the basket, he was just blocking them for the most part. He couldn't get through. And then both guys have a fairly high protective cup, too, when it comes up over the very. Well, Larry, there's a kind of left good uh, shot. What a couple of punches. Tremendous uppercut and the left hook to put him down. And really, and then all the time, Vasquez had his hand up. He found a hole between the gap. That's because of a very accurate punch and well, power. First time Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. has been down in his professional career. And there we saw some signs of that quick handed power. But Vasquez seems pretty stable. Uh, despite that. It was a remarkable combination, though. Vasquez just wants to get out of the round now. Sometimes it's smart to run from your troubles. Here we see the left uppercut come right up, right up through the center. Even though Vasquez had his right hand on the side to protect for a left hook, Donar has that great sense that you, of talent and knowing where to throw certain punches that you can't give, and he brought it up right through the center. Watch him pause, admire his work, look for the opening, and put him down. Patience. 
Robert Garcia's reaction in the corner. Robert Garcia did a fantastic job working with Donaire as well as Rios. Good trainer. Power yeah. punches in the ninth. Donaire was 9 of 15. And Vasquez 5 of 10. You saw the knockdown. Harold, how do you have it now? Look at Jim. 88, 81, 7 rounds to 2. No need to Donaire. You know, Jim, well, Fredo Vasquez, his only hope in the last three rounds is he's got to start throwing right hands. I mean, the whole fight, all he's doing is that left jab. He hasn't thrown a real right hand in anger. God knows how long. Now he's starting to come across with a right hand. He must have hurt me. He's got to throw a lot of a lot of right hands and try and you know, offset some of that point. Lead. Two minutes left in the tenth. You got the impression coming in that Donaire was very focused on trying to get a knockout, particularly having developed a, a vengeance motive against Vasquez Jr. as the result of what happened at the news conference this week. Will he be satisfied with a thoroughly effective win? And having knocked Vasquez down, he should be, I think. He's moving up in weight. It's not an unappreciable fact. No, but he, he's still going to go for that knockout, though. And the, the thing here, even though Vasquez is doing very well, you know, he's just leaving himself open without leaving himself open. Just those short punches yeah. that don't know if he come up between the middle. And he has so much power in those shots. Well, Harold mentioned that Vasquez must throw right hands. The danger there, of course, yep. is that counter left hook. The counter left hook. And we've seen it. No. No risk, no reward. Another slight trickle of blood from the nose of Vasquez. Donaire's face shows punishment too now. This is a tough fight for Donaire Seal too. Oh, there's that counter left hook again. Vasquez through the right. Donaire nailed it. Looked like they was exchanging hooks, but there's so much more power and accuracy on Donaire's left hook as compared to Vasquez. Donaire's been looking for a quality opponent and to a certain degree found one tonight. He's been hit more in this fight than in any of the other four fights tracked by CompuBox. But we talked about him wanting to press for the knockout, and he's doing it right now, though with only a few seconds left in the round. <laughs> Roy Jones moves there. He's got the Roy Jones, Roy the Sergio Jones, yeah. Martinez. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But those are two great fighters to have moves after. 28 out of 50. Vasquez 22 of 61, Donaire an 18 to 13 advantage in power shots. Landed some heavy stuff down the stretch as he was trying to knock Vasquez out. He's already put the fight away on Harold Letterman's scorecard, barring a knockout disaster. Well, once again, to Bassa's credit, he's pressing forward in the face of heavy punishment. Excellent professional career, including a world title. And he's fighting a good fight tonight. Even though he may lose his fight, most likely he's fighting a very credible fight that I would ever have to see him considering one of the top fighters in the world at the 122-pound weight division. You okay? You okay? Head Watch your head. Cuidado con la cabeza. Let's go. Accidental head. No blood.
lot of people think of Donaire as a relatively new star, but he's 29 years old. Hasn't lost a fight since his second professional fight back in April of 2001. So it's been nearly 11 years. Unbeaten over that span. Knockout win over Victor Chinian. The tremendous knockout win over Montiel. As we mentioned, he's risen to the top five pound for pound. Okay, Nuto. Let's go. Let's pick it up, Nuto. He cannot handle you. Let's go, Nuto. Finish strong this round. Listen to me. Let's go, Nuto. Let's finish strong. Last round. Last down. He's robbing. He's taking the fight. Taking the fight away. My lively, lively. Upcoming. Donaire has landed 204 punches in the fight. My copy box. Only 148 for Vasquez. Donaire with 128 to 50 edge in Power Connect. In the last two rounds, Donaire has landed 57 punches. His two highest connect rounds of the fight. Softening Vasquez up to try to produce the big knockout in the 12th. We'll see. Donaire dancing now from side to side. He's shown all the elements of his game. Told our interpreter, Jerry Olaya, that Nonito Donaire has hurt his right hand. And so perhaps that affects the question of whether he tries for a knockout here. You know, Sergio Martinez lost considerable luster when he went 11 rounds and got his nose bloodied let's against go, Darren Barker. Go, go, he also go. produced a late knockout that sort of redeemed it a little bit. Look, uh, this kid has been put uh, under the microscope because of the hype and hope in him. Uh, made the number four or five pound for pound fighter in the world etc and so the expectations have to be high and very often the question is yes did you win but did you um, live up to expectations or even exceed them and for everyone who's been so excited about the prospect of what Domir can do at featherweight, for instance, at 126. Did his inability to knock out Vasquez raise questions at 122? Or was it a tremendous performance against an all-around yes. terrific fighter? Yeah, I think. And now let's go to Michael Buffer and find out the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds here at the Alamo Dome, we go to the scorecards. Ruben Garcia scores it 115 to 112 for Wilfredo Vasquez. Yeah. Levi Martinez scores it 117 to 110 for Nonito Donier. Don Trella scores it 117 110 to the winner by split decision. The Filipino Flash, Nonito. Well, there was one fascinating scorecard there, considering that Donaire scored a knockdown.